welcome back class 4 now when well, we have to finish the remaining portions of the chapter 5 that is natural resources so today we are going to finish it and then we will look uh, ahead of the question answers now till now we have seen uh, what are called natural resources firstly we have seen what are resources then we have seen what are called natural resources and their classification while doing it we have seen that natural resources can be divided into two broader categories first is the renewable resource and the second is non-renewable resource so in the in case of renewable resource we have seen that they can be renewed okay they can be renewed and in other way they are also called in in a exhaustible that means which can be used up uh, if used up wisely they can be replenished also so re within the uh, range of re renewable resource we can see the different uh, what um, forms of you know water resources then we have the wind then we have the sunlight and the tidal power so all these are uh, actually in inexhaustible which have come up as an alternative sources of energy uh, to the exhaustible sources of energy all right then we have the inexhaustible uh, or um, you know non renewable sources of energy which actually gives us the warning of um, you know utilizing them within the proper limits else they will get depleted because they are limited on earth we cannot use them again and again and deplete the uh, natural environment we have to use them wisely then we came across the various uses of water there we have seen the how the farmers use the water uh, for uh, their farms and for uh, and also how the industries need the various sources of water today we will see in detail about how the farmers use the water to grow their crops for irrigation purpose irrigation means to provide the crop fields with enough source of water so in saying so we will see that the farmers use basically two different uh, form of irrigation the first is sprinkler and the second is drip irrigation okay now we will see what are they what is a sprinkler a piece of equipment used for automatically sprinkling water in the uh, into the agricultural farms and plants in a controlled manner is called a sprinkler so when we can sprinkle water sprinkle means to evenly distribute it isn't it so if we can actually put a source of water amidst the different farms um, uh, living in north bengal i guess you all have visited the hills and while moving there while going on road you have seen that on both the sides you come across a lot of tea estate isn't it so you must have seen that a sprinkler is there in between the tea estates which are you know sprinkling water onto the very tender tea plants okay or the tea twigs so the machine which equipment which help us to sprinkle water throughout the year into the agricultural farms are called the sprinkler irrigation the method is called uh, sprinkler irrigation and the machine is called sprinkler okay now in drip irrigation pipes are laid along the ground so that they are near to the soil and roots of the plants so there are pipes which are laid along the ground so that they are very near to the soil and the roots of the plants water drips out from these pipes and keep the soil moist drip irrigation helps in reducing the wastage of water so the first method was by using the sprinkler second we can secondly we can use the drip irrigation where we are using the pipes which are being laid along the you know the soil and uh, it will the water will drip out and it the soil will absorb all the water and in that way the roots of the plants will get water 
in this way we can reduce a little wastage of water so if i ask you name a method used by the indian farmers to reduce the wastage of water your answer should be drip irrigation all right now we are coming to the conservation of water like so much water is used in various purposes starting from domestic till the farming techniques or the farming process but how we can amidst all this conserve the water the shortage of water is growing problem in many parts of the country additionally the dumping of waste and from industries and the sewage from the big cities pollute water bodies and harm the marine life therefore each one of us should be should do our bit to conserve water do not leave the taps open where you are not using the water so that are the prime um you know some guidelines or some ways through which uh, we can reduce the consumption of water to some extent using these uh, you know methods in our day to day life okay we should be careful enough we can use a bucket instead um, you know instead of a shower to take a bath we can store rain water for future use uh, we should throw the tissue paper into the basket waste basket rather than flushing it fix the we should we can fix the leaks in the pipes in the kitchen bathroom or any other place at home and factories must must treat the polluted water before releasing it into the water body so these are the different methods by adopting uh, those we can actually reduce the wastage of water seriously because that day also i discussed um, over the zoom session that there are countries in the around the world like especially i will talk about the african countries okay ethiopia libya okay zimbabwe so these are the countries which actually run short of water and uh, these country these places are very dry and the soil is also very dry and there are cracks in the soil because the soil does not receive very frequent rainfall and also in places uh, in the state of rajasthan in india as you know that there are places rajasthan is having the thar desert uh, so de uh, of course uh, from the name you know that a desert is a place which is devoid of any rainfall which does not experience much rainfall so again rajasthan and in some parts of uh, the uh state uh, in rajasthan they have they are running serious water crisis and there are special women like there are women who be belong to the villages they actually um, you know carry water they actually carry water for long distances and they supply to the uh, you know uh, to the rich people they are very poor villages who actually earn their living by supplying water uh, for a long distances so these women are also called pani haris all right so uh, there are places in india and across the world which suffer um, acute water shortage so we should conserve water we should be careful while using water and stop its wastage as much as possible so that was all about the chapter children where you have learned about the various uh, aspects in which we use our natural resources how we can maximize our use uh and how we can conserve our uses so uh and also you have learnt about the water and its various forms and how we can preserve it along with it i will providing you the question answers so please go through them please go through the book and if you have any doubts please get back to me please comment uh under the uh, you know under the video and please subscribe those who have not yet Thank you and have a great day ahead